Good evening, and welcome to We All Gonna Die Wednesday. Bonus time. Livingston Man, roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> and welcome back to we all gonna die wednesday thank you for being here no notification says sunset why am i not surprised youtube absolutely fucking hates us no it's because i i did that to you <laughs> that's living i did man. that rob k good evening william k southern tier prepper Teresa buchanan patty s eric m1 rv sunset charmaine montgomery scott trudeau betty lou tower vision preparedness ghost lincoln suburban hillbilly Johnny Preps in the house. What's good, everybody? Ghost Lincoln, I see you, my brother. Love and life. What's good? I see you. Black Star Boys in the building. What's good, my friend? Uh, Captain Pegleg in the building. Foxfire, good to see you. Joe DeFazo actually got a notification. I did that. I'll, I'll be damned. I'll be I, I damned. I did that to you. Uh, Amory, I'm feeling you. I can't die today either. It costs way too much money to die nowadays. Um, Cost yeah, who? yeah. Uh, well, the living, show has. <laughs> the living, the living. Hunter twenty five. What's happening, my brother? How are you? Um, hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody's doing good on this rainy. We all gonna die Wednesday. Um, so what y'all mad about this time? What's what the is big it? What deal? Is, it? Are, is everybody crying because Nikki Haley is out of the election? I know that my election dreams. We're just totally taken out from underneath me, Livingston man. If I was you, gonna vote for. No, I wasn't. If you didn't see that coming, here, take these. <laughs> hey, yeah. I got an hey, idea. Oh, hey, we're gonna do, we're gonna have some fun. Oh here. man, Livingston man vision. Oh good. This Lord. is what I see. Yeah. Oh, uh, fingerprints. That's my. Uh, here's my my yeah, hardware. There it is. Wow. Is it actually improving a little bit? No. Do, uh, is that no, look it looks, better? It looks exactly the same. Good. Now that everybody's all... Prepping Mantis, what's good, my brother? Now that everybody's good and tripped out. Fed up American, what's happening? Now, do you um, see, yeah, see I'm now, saying, don't you? Amory, Nikki uh, Haley, uh, really? That was controlled opposition. Are you kidding me? That was just to say we gave you a third choice. Nikki Haley is fucking Dr. Pepper, and you got Pepsi <laughs> and Coke out here. She's like, hi, I'm Dr. Pepper. Everybody's like, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a The f doctor is out of the building. Is out of the building. Virginia Bushcrafter, good to see you. Joe Morgan, how you doing? Straight up, will um, ban these Ohio is he, real shit that's going on. I see, <laughs> see a little too much of that going on. Also, uh, welcome fed to- Fed up American. What's up, my brother? Welcome to my show uh, tonight. We're going to touch on some serious topics enlist, tonight. Enlist pop-up tents for a prep. Um, define pop-up tent enlisted prep. Are you yeah. talking like uh, like, like the, instant up, in the instant up ones? Um, Those are uh, they, they they sound packable. Not a fan. I've never I've never purchased one. I didn't want to be that guy with the fucking instant up tent. You know. Well, you know, I, 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 just, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to be that guy. I didn't want to be that guy that could start a fire easily, and then I found out about these things. Uh, Anne Marie, we're gonna touch on that uh, a little later this evening. That's one of the topics I want to discuss tonight. Um, that's a uh, uh, red alert. Breaking news. Breaking news, uh, the People's Republic of New Yorkistan. I'm gonna stop you right there. So it was brought to my attention that Mrs. Livingston thought that you should like take it a little more easy on the bell and we're gonna have to work on it. Ooh. Well, I, will, I would gladly put some work into the bell as well, Livingston, man. See, it, it, um, you know, you, you're, you play it hard and I, I respect you. Okay. It's not gonna work if you keep yeah. fucking your boot like that. Sorry. Terry Johnson, what's happening? Yeah, I don't even know um, where I got that. I think I stole it from a hotel in Singapore. 
<laughs> um, so the breaking news tonight is that the National Guard is going to be deployed to New York City to help police the subways. Good thing. Um, Make apparently, them pay. With, the, with the rash of slashings, shootings, muggings, robbings, rapings, uh, shovings onto the tracks, uh, the people of New York City have had enough of it, and uh, Kathy Hochul is going to send the National Guard down to help out the NYPD. They're going to institute bag checks, Livingston. Man. I read this. Which, so I was which like... in case, are actually, these are voluntary. These are voluntary. Um, could you pop this link in the chat for folks, Livingston, man, so they could read this article as well? Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not good. It's not good. That's, that's the one right there, Livingston, man. Um, yeah, just copy and then uh, paste. I captain. Once or twice I've done this before. He's he's good at it. He's good at it. No, that's not it. No, it? that's not it at all. Because yeah. you didn't copy. I, I said copy. <laughs> I, I clicked copy link. And what the no, fuck did you I did not watch, click copy. Watch, no, do it again. It you doesn't click right the... here, and nothing happens. See that? Yeah. The way it works. Oh, yes. that's because you opened this download link. What in the absolute... You click download link, not what? copy link. What in the dad gong heck is going uh, on here? That right there. Dude. Copy. Oh, this book sucks. <laughs> Paste. That's cool. Oh, I won't even won't even put the whole thing in there. That's cool. It's way too many characters. Yeah, you just copy that and then paste it. Not that that whole Facebook Messenger thing. I don't like this game anymore. It's pretty. Probably I'll just save and. Save without, quit without, <laughs> quit without saving. without saving. Get my place. Robert Bates, good to see you, brother. Um, it was like... Um, Southern Tier Prepper, I agree with you. It's just yet, yet another reason. Tell me which one you um, want me to do. You know what I'm going to do? Watch this shit. Mm -hmm. Open it, MFR. Yeah, there, that's that's the best way to do it. That, that you know, copy it, button just wasn't there, was it? <laughs> Honestly, it really, I enjoy, it really, really wasn't What I there. really enjoy is like extra steps with... <laughs> <laughs> with everything that you're doing. Um, hey, how about that link, you guys? Uh, yeah, this is yeah, the he's, one. he's got it. He's got it there. So you want to oh, check this out. Um, now, here's what this is going to be. How many uh, National Guard soldiers are we deploying to the New York City subway right now? You said it was like uh, I think it's 700. Yeah, 750 National Guard members to start. But I think they're going to find out quickly that that's probably not enough personnel. Are they um, armed? Uh, or do stand there with MP5s like show me, know, run your know, pockets, man. son. Yeah, that's basically run your pockets, that's basically son. where they're at now. This is voluntary bag checks. If you want to ride the subway, you have to have your bag checked so you can get on the subway. That's not voluntary. That's um, well, yeah. The, now, yeah, seven hundred fifty National Guardsmen. Yeah, it's a formidable force versus uh, nineteen million people. Right, not only that, but no, what it's about not 19 million, but that's 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 city numbers. Um, whatever, but, uh, when, uh, I think we need to like learn about the the, the, the cause, the like the root here. Like, what is yeah. this? Are people more emboldened? Crime, crime. it's crime. It's more, they're more emboldened because the, the laws are so lax. You can go, you can go assault somebody and then you're out the same day. You know, they're going to give you an appearance ticket and tell you, you got to show up to court in six months. Are you even going to show up to court? Well, so then on that note, have we just deployed 750 National Guards people? <laughs> Jake Creature. To what? <laughs> they're going to collar, uh, like, they're going to collar folks and watch them walk, like, yeah. in eight hours? Like, we're, yeah. we're deploying the army for this? The law well, is I mean, what the law it, is. It, yeah, but they don't enforce it. They don't enforce it. Uh, and they're, they're, they're light on these people because, well, let's face it, if you start locking everybody up, Ain't enough room, bro. There ain't enough room. They put there a bunch of they room. put a bunch of hall monitors in rather than admit that their policies are trash and only enable this kind of problem. Mm. And I you know, for the first time today, I I heard Kathy Hawkel speak. Oh, I'm sorry. I have never heard a more oh, downright dear. Hillary oh. Clinton impression in my life. Oh. She's like a Hillary Clinton tribute band. <laughs> But like, like not even good, you know oh, what I'm saying? Man. Like not even good. You're like, ugh. A Hillary Clinton tribute. Band. Cringe, bro. And whoever the hell is voting for that, like I think you need to think about shit. It's um a lot oh. of shit. Yeah, it's like um nails on a chalkboard. 
you know, that, that kind of. And, oh, and I watched her attempt to justify this showpiece maneuver she's done here where it looks interesting. Look, oh, you walk in and there's like some army guys like in the lobby and you're like, oh, it's cool. If the, like, but I, I think you're wasting yeah. resources here. Like, I mean, if these guys aren't armed, like I said, standing there with guns, like, show me your pockets, bro. What's up? You're wasting everybody's money and fucking time, which is something the Democratic Party is very good at. Uh, Anne Marie says the guards are going to help uh, to New York to help watch the illegals commit crimes. <sighs> Could be Yankee watchdog. What's good, my brother? Uh, um, uh, on another note, too, yeah. with, with this, this also paves the way for um, um, even more surveillance society. Now, anybody that ever fly, flew on a plane knows that there's a lot of, you got to literally. TSA like, going to get you. They're they, they, they going to molest you before you get on the aircraft. Yeah, they make Absolutely. you, you know, run a gauntlet through rings Public of transportation, I guess that's their um, their thing to it, right? It's, it's public, so they've got to make sure that everybody's good. Uh, this paves guess, this paves the way for like a universal uh, transportation pass, okay? With, and you're not allowed to use the bus, the Unless train, you have the it. plane. And you got the, the right thing. social credit score, Livingston. Man. It also paves the way for that. As soon as you like, you know, and we've seen them do this to people before, where you say something that's not popular, and you you can easily just be able, okay, and they have now res restricted your freedom of movement. Uh, Southern Tier Prepper, that's a really good question. Uh, Southern Tier Prepper asked, how much is it going to hold up passengers and trains? If you fly, you know that now you have to show up for your subway train four hours early. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's basically it. We're from uh, the government. We're here to help. You ever heard this before? Beef and chicken, good evening. Uh, thank you for joining us on this We All Gonna Die Wednesday. Is that better? Yes. Right. See how it rang one, better, too, when you one, did it? It did. It did. It had a very... Solid, robust. As a drummer, uh, if you hit the cymbal with just a little, it sounds. Like, but if you fucking hit that thing like it's a spike in the a railroad tie, it, it, it sounds know, like you didn't. Oh, you break it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, Who so, let this Jay Creature guy in the chat? I'm about to put him. So on the top. big, the big hubbub in the city right now, Livingston man, is that they have two hundred thousand new New Yorkers. You have 200,000 new New Yorkers, and I'd be willing to bet that none of them speak much English. Um, yeah, that's a lot of people to drop in a place. You know, the, the, the population of, the, of 10 states, we've, we've imported more people in the last four years than the population of 10 states living today. There's two people responsible for that. None of them are you or me or him. There's Very two true. people. Uh, oh, there's three. There's a guy directly responsible for it, and that's this douchebag from uh, Texas and and Florida, who neither one of them I can stand. Trump tribute bands, both. Yeah, of them. Trump tribute bands, <laughs> both of them. Uh, and then there uh. is there there's a there's the direct cause of it, why they are physically here, and that's DeSantis and uh, Abbott. But the indirect reason those men sent them here was because of these sanctuary city, <laughs> so-called, you know, uh, bleeding heart liberal policies. And what they weren't prepared for was that you know, we they welcome we them. welcome you all with open arms. How dare they turn you away? He was like, here yeah. you go. And yeah, what you quickly have a heap and dose of your own medicine, and that they can't they can't afford it. They can't afford it. And as soon as that issue showed up on their doorstep, they said, "Get it out of here, anywhere but here." The most telling example is when he sent them to Martha's Vineyard. Oh yeah, not not not. No, absolutely. You know what? We cannot do this. How dare you do that to us, rich people with unlimited resources? How could we possibly? Uh, yeah, it's you know. But they're they, gladly they dream them. up these policies, Livingston man, and they with the best of intentions. Yes. Oh, that's the, with the, the, with the best of intentions, what I right? paved the road to hell. With. Um, and then once you put them into actual work, you find out that wow, this is way more expensive than we ever thought it was going to be. We cannot afford to do this. We're going to need help from the federal government now. But it, it's a it's a sort of a, a straw man. What they do, it's manipulative. Because yeah. it sounds good. Of course, you want to help people. Of course, you want to be the good guy. 
And so they say this and pass asinine laws that affirm this and then find out that they don't work. So they double down, but never admit wrongdoing. They just Incredible. make the problem worse by painting themselves into corners. Yeah. Yeah. I, it sucks. It sucks. And, uh, People are playing politics with people's people. lives, with people's lives, and it's not right. Uh, something has to change. The system is obviously broken to the point of it probably cannot be repaired, yet needs to be completely dismantled and rebuilt, Livingston Man. The system is broken. We were talking about this before. I compared yeah. the entire United States government to a really old house. Yeah. It's got he's good not, bones. He's not wrong. It's got good bones. But everything it's 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 insulated with asbestos. It's got cotton wires. It's got lead plumbing. Yeah. It's key. It's total gut job is what it is, folks. It's Shit's got to get pulled out, and new <laughs> stuff's got to put back in. The United States government is not up to code. It would not pass an inspection. <laughs> not even close. Not even close. In tradesman's terms. Yeah. Right. Not even close. Okay. Now you all feel me? Did you just have a eureka moment? <laughs> um. Yeah, it's it's terrible, man. It's terrible. Um, can I scroll up in the, in the no, comments here for a section? Well, here it goes. Good night, everybody. But no, I'm not going to do it. I I saw a uh, Robert Bates's uh, military age Chinese males. They don't speak English. Well, a lot of them don't don't speak English. What happened? Oh, it was it was Rob K uh, asked: Is peak refuel uh, freeze dried or not? Uh, the answer is yes. Peak refuel is freeze dried. Their claim to fame. It's something like both. It, it <laughs> uses less water to rehydrate and it's not super freeze dried. I, I think they do like a, a 90% job on it, Livingston Man. That's why the shelf life on peak refuel is much shorter than you'd find with something like nutrient survival. And it needs um, less water to reconstitute generally. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you watched our uh, our latest bug out bag or bug out battles series, um, you'll see that. Uh, Mods, can we not drop the link? That's not necessarily true to uh, less water because that nutrient survival used very little water to reconstitute, but that was only one serving. And it was a bit more, besides the potatoes or you're talking about the, the breakfast thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, there was two cups of water in the breakfast skillet from Peak Refuel, and there was uh, one cup of water to the um, nutrient survival, but the, it, there was a, a two serving to one serving So they both uh, used the same ratio. amount of water. Uh, Rob K says, I watched, don't worry. Uh, not worried. Um, just, just saying that we were referring to that. Uh, peak shelf life is a PR thing. They didn't want to be known as the survival food. It lasts longer than they advertise. I would believe that, Jay Creature. Robert Lanahan, what's up? What's good, my brother? I love Rob, and he, he thinks Vision like, safe travels, my friend. Why, why I love Robert Lanahan, I call him Rob. Is because uh, I think I get this vibe from him that he thinks that like I'm like mad at him or I don't like him, but I, like him. <laughs> I totally have no problem with the way we met was a funny story that I'm gonna keep between he and I here. But Rob, I'm gonna tell you, listen seriously, I freaking love you, bro. <laughs> all's all's well. It's all all's cool. Well. I know that like that thing happened like so so long ago, and it's the last thing that ever occurs to me. I promise you, and like I big heart you, and uh, well, I'm glad you brought. Rob up because I've got a little note here, Livingston man, in my uh in Just my, keep my the tabs fancy, on you, uh, Rob. See how it got strategic, weird real quick. Strategic ETC notepad. And if you guys need medical training, you get in touch. Strategic ETC.com. See phone numbers right there. The info at strategic etc.com. Www.strategic etc.com. Go get yourself some medical training, guys, because we gotta we gotta stay alive to keep other people alive to on Keep the inside, the on the inside back cover, I have all of Rob's like absolute like docs information. <laughs> I remember what um, you did. So I was asked uh, last night during the premiere of the uh, the bug out battles. Um, Eric N one RV donated a hundred dollars to the uh, the MS bug out bag. Hundred dollars, Eric. A hundred dollars last night to funds uh, into this to, thing to, to, the, to the bug out bag. Um, and he, he called me tonight. He sent me a text message that, hey, can you call me before you go live? I was like, yeah, sure. Um, and he asked me if I would uh, give those five entries away.
tonight to somebody in the chat who could use them. Um, so the very first one is going to go to our man, Robert Lenahan. Um, that one's for you, brother, from Eric N1RV. You're in there, Rob. You're in. You've got one entry for the MS Bug Out Bag giveaway. Um, Santiago, you, my friend, are number two. All right. You got three left? Yes, sir. I have a challenge. I'm going to try it. All right. Do you want to do it with two? This, some folks, all right, you know, let's do it with, go ahead. We're going to do it with the last one. Oh, okay. Keep going. All right. Keep all going. Right. I have an idea, but I think that, uh, I, well, I, I think I'm, somebody I'm just, be... I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm picking people as they come across and I, I'd, I'd see them and I'd, I'd be like, you know what? You ain't in there yet. Let's let's get you in there. What you I'm know? what I'm thinking about. That's Mike, all I'm saying. I'm saying so we we have um, nope, not one in the chat, Hunter, but nice try. <laughs> Jay Creature trying to get ahead of it nope, too. Nope, nope. Um, yeah, yeah. How many more you got? You got. We're doing last one is going to do the Livingston Man Challenge and. Um, well, all the why living... I'm why I'm giving you only one is because it's actually possible to cheat, and I understand that. So one oh, person. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, I see. I see. I see Who gets the next one? Let's going. let's throw one two. Well, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in a huge hurry. But if you want to, if you want to pick one, Livingston man, you pick somebody in the chat, and we will be happy to uh, enter them into the bug out. Bag. You know what? Can is it fair? Could we? Could we put my man Tank Houston on that list? Yo, done, done. Three. I mean, homie only he comes and stars in our videos. He don't ask for shit. Very true. All right. Done. Done. Tank Houston. Done. Uh, JKR, good evening. Welcome to We All Gone Die Wednesday. Who's another one of my favorites here? You know, let's see. I mean, I'm telling you. Well, you're all my favorites, really. Man. Now, of course, to be entered in this uh, thing, you got to have, like, you know, um, legitimate, like, contact info and shit. If yeah. you were to win, we yeah. got to, like, send you this it's thing. Big. It's big. And uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry, mods. Eric, mods members. Thank you. No, don't. My why friend. Do that? <laughs> All right. There I, you go. When hit I try to hit Eric, the hard thank button, you so it's much. Like, Report, Eric. Kick thank him. you like, so yeah. much. Man, these lists get longer and longer and longer. You know what? You know what? You know what? Um, can can we can we put Black Star Boys on the list? Because yeah, I've been promising. Absolutely. I've been promising absolutely. this man. You're getting a care package either For, way, Black Star. All right. Black Star Boys. You're getting you're getting a care package. All right, from Livingston America. man, you gotta you gotta have to pick another one. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick another one right now. I'm gonna say Ooh. Papa's Farm. Okay. Papa's Farm. You are in for the bug out bad drawing. Um, I, there's another one. I'm gonna add another one right now. This is the first of the second five. Um, John Walsh, what's good, my brother? You are officially entered for the MS Bug Out Bag giveaway. Listen, you guys are killing me because you, you've done this so many times. Um, yeah, this is you've, huge. You've, you, your community donations, your, your contributions have sent people to get medical training. Yeah. Now, like y'all yeah. are ext like willing to just make sure someone gets this survival preparedness bag. Absolutely. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Uh, I, thank you so much, man. Um, the I was nearly brought to tears on the is, last live stream, and you're not going to fucking don't, do it to me again. Don't start. Just, like, smoke a cigarette and drink some beer, bro. I can't wait to drop this challenge. <laughs> I, I really want to see what happens when I drop this challenge. As I've just been sitting here. I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i modified it. It's going to be even more fun. Okay. One okay. person's going to get... It's going to win this fun challenge, and it's okay. going to be great. Okay. But until then, you got more? Yeah. Pick, 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 bro. Pick. Ghost Lincoln. Thank you, my friend. To um, to clarify, what folks are donating to right now is 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 me, uh, Hudson Valley Prepping Survival. I am going to donate your donations to the National MS Society on behalf of the Dotties Warriors campaign. Um, we're going to do the MS Walk 
in, uh, I think it's June. I believe it's June up in Albany. And by the and, pledges um, you guys have made so far, he is going to be pledge walking until um, December. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically. Um, but, you know, I, I do the prepping survival thing, bro. That's, that's my thing. I figured my way to give back was to build a bug out bag, fill it with all the stuff that I love and some of the stuff that I, I would have bought for myself. But I'm like, eh, it's, you know, it's a little bougie. I bought it. I put it all in the bag to give it to somebody. Ghost Lincoln wants you to now yeah. hand out five more. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Ghost. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. Um, Jason and VA. Yeah, just breathe. That's it, man. We all going to die. Nobody gets out of life alive. Um, incredible. Incredible, man. Uh, I can't believe how much you guys do for the community. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, I can't hold it in no more. Okay, the Livingston Man Challenge, the next entry. Kia, Chris, what's good, my brother? Secure yourself an entry right now. I want you to spell the word immediately in the chat right now. First person to spell the word immediately, correctly, wins yourself a place on this list. Go, immediately. That'd be, uh, well, Joel Archer nailed that. There it is, Joel. Congratulations, number Excuse seven. Me, Joel Eichner, I, I, I'm way back here. Joel Eichner, you're uh, in there. Okay, now and if you used autocorrect, I hate you, uh, but I knew you would, so that's why I gave only one entry to this. Joel, you're in there. You're in there. At least, see, Santiago was for real, and I ought to give it to him. <laughs> that's right. That's I ought to right. give it to him because at least he didn't cheat. Oh man. Uh, so there are well, well, we still have uh, eight more slots. To give away, can we keep Livingston coming up? Let's man. keep uh, coming up with funky, uh, funky challenges. Funky challenges. Uh, Tracy K, thank you so much for your donation, sister. You do not have to do that. Your your presence here is all that's required, folks. Um, your donations are all going to the MS Society. Thank you so much. We we really really appreciate it. I got a new one. Okay, next per the first person to answer this question correctly wins a spot on the list. What kind of cigarettes does the Livingston man smoke? Oh, oh, that's a, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a really good question. Uh, Rob K, no. Oops, no. Eric, no. Uh, Yankee, no. Teresa, no. Uh, wow. No, no. Love and life get it. Love and life. Love and life is in there. The camels are in the building. Number eight is love and life. You're in it to win it, Rick and Karen. I do indeed like <laughs> Walsh is the USA goal. Oh, God, not oh, since I was are, a young man, ooh, I'll tell you that. Those are rough. Uh, Southern Tier Prepper, I think the USA Golds might be rougher than the basics. Those are uh, Prepping hard. with Pugs, God. Newports was my thing, and... Uh, no mas, no mas. POTB, what's good? Welcome to We All Going to Die Wednesdays. Kia Chris, Price, uh, roll, rolling them yourself is the only. <laughs> Virginia Slim, super slim. <laughs> the roaming prepper, what's happening, brother? I hope you're feeling better this afternoon. Um, I know you were quite under the weather yesterday. Uh, stuck in a hotel, but I hope you're, you know, on your way. Oops says homegrown cigarettes. That's that's the truth right the, there. The green ones. One day we'll have camel greens and I'll be happy about it. Yeah. 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 How many spots you got uh, left still? A, uh, a lot. A lot. What kind I mean, of guitar? Number nine. What kind of guitar is this right here? First person. Oh. Oh, there it is. That's a good that's a good question. Uh could you possibly Show the guitar off. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Fender, face. Vantage, Gibson, Tele, Stratocaster. Okay, it's a, uh, I'll give you, it's a Fender, but what is it? Okay, we have a Tele. Prepping with Pugs, got it. Uh, there it is. Prepping with Pugs, you are number nine. It's my baby child, as a matter of fact. I've owned that guitar for 21 years. Prepping with Pugs is in there, number nine. John Walsh, it is not a squire. Don't use that word. In <laughs> what am I, 15? Uh, ooh, okay, Paul says camel wides, bro. Those were the truth. Oof. Those were the truth. Okay, when you're going to sit down and Independent Men United, yeah. good evening. Welcome to the We All Gone Die Wednesday. Let's just start throwing them random questions, Mike. Uh, random questions. Uh, all right, so y'all know. 
what is to me to me the number one rule of survival first person to uh get it in the chat i'm gonna write number I 10 you said down. drugs i was like uh, yeah yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> i think the almost, prepping mantis got almost it. i was i was i was looking yeah I, yeah but i was looking word for word um yeah word mm, for word man he wants the actual quote yeah yeah if you had to put my words into quotations uh robert lenahan thank you so much my brother we really appreciate it is that so, an american strat everybody praise uh rob it's his, yes robert his first, thank you his first super chat yes thank you thank you so much my friend Let's celebrate. Well, what happens when we click that? What made us celebrate it? No, we can't celebrate. Oh, no. It. Rob, well, I tried well, to celebrate what you. you. Celebrating. I'd like to celebrate you, baby. I'd like to treat you like I should. <laughs> Walsh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, man. It sounds very... Uh, you know what? It sounds could you oddly scroll, Could you scroll back up uh, uh, for me, uh, Livingston Man? Because I don't... Uh, <laughs> don't... Don't tell anyone. I think in essence, <laughs> prepping, I think prepping mantis got it in essence. Here. Yeah, yeah. Prepping mantis, this one's for you. I don't know if you ever met yourself, but it's kind of hard to remember what you said exactly. Don't fucking die. <laughs> that was, you lost that was the game. Good. Okay, you lost don't the game. Don't fucking die. Rule number one of survival is don't fucking die. Whoops, you didn't. I guess yeah. you're out of here. Uh, well. Yeah, yeah, we did figure out the Livingston man smokes camel filters, red ones, red shorts. There it is. There it is. So okay, if you want to send them to me, if you're stocking up stuff for shit hit the fan and you expect a Livingston man visitor, um, stock some camel reds, man. Some People camel ask me, they're like, why bring don't a you? You're damn right, Tracy. Okay, you better bring a Mickwick. They, 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 they're like, why don't you quit? I'm like, you don't want that. The world does not want that. Like when the world gets eaten at me and I just smoke that cigarette, understand that mm. that's best for everyone. <laughs> Jason, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Ten bucks ain't gonna uh, get me a new ports here Anne in New York. Marie, uh, you are absolutely correct. I do say always have a plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Anne Marie number eleven. Congratulations, Anne Marie. Um, yeah, that is that is another one of my sayings. Um, what's this one, Eric? Oh, that that maybe so. That uh, yeah. That. You need that post clarity. You know? <laughs> now you took a break for a minute. No, I pro, bro. I'm telling. <laughs> Go ahead and grab the uh, lotion since you're gonna have uh, P and W Trout Slayer. Good evening, my friend. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, what are we gonna die to today? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We didn't I'm even sure. touch on half our subjects yet. No. Um, no, but uh, you know. So, I mean, to, to recap, so come to find out there's going to be like National Guard in mm. the uh, subway, which is, you know, a complete symbol of American freedom and constitutional republicanism, as well as democracy, whichever side you're on there. Yeah. Uh, you always want to see uh, the hallmarks of American freedom are uh, barbed wire around the Capitol building and soldiers in the subway. It screams yeah, utopia. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it screams... Utopia, right? It, it's the essence of freedom, Livingston. Man. I mean, you know, freedom, freedom isn't free. Freedom. It's a hefty um, fucking fee. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Anne Marie, uh, could you email me at Hudson Valley Prepping Survival at gmail.com? I believe it should be in the description section. 87 people in here with blue names. Somebody with the video the link. with the video below. I'm looking um, for a murderer. Oh, yeah. And there he is right here. So oh. we're, gonna, we're gonna open my mind. Okay. I'm not gonna show you guys oh, what I'm up to here. He's doing he's clicking something I can't see. Internet any, slow because my the homeboy right brought home a um, PlayStation 5 this evening. Good, oh. good on him though. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. So, so the bandwidth is being tested. Well we're hard we're we're, we're hardwired. Same. But I'm gonna drop a link real quick. Here go. Uh, Jay Creature says the uh, the troops in 9-11 in the city did not have ammo 100% confirmed. Um, I believe that. They, they carried rifles as like a deterrent. Um, and in many cases, when people are deployed it's on American It's a shock and soil, awe thing. Yeah, I, they may have magazines, but they're never in the weapon. And, you know? and there's a reason for this. Uh, the 
army, if operating under army, like federal guidelines, the even the, the United States military is not allowed to be used as a law enforcement force. Right. That's why they soil. use the National Guard. Which <laughs> is basically the United States military. If I really want to kick some beehives here, um, the militia that your 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 God given Second Amendment refers to is your state's National Guard. Hate to break it to you, but that's the way the guys in charge interpret it. Yeah. Um, so the next thing that we really wanted to roll into is the. Uh, the they killed the, a bunch of cows. The fire. Well, somebody killed Elon a bunch Musk of cows. and his fucking space lasers <laughs> fucking ruined everything. Um, so apparently there's a, a lawsuit that's been filed by Mixed Demand. I don't know if this is going to say that this is the cause. But um, they're saying that this fire could have been started by a downed electrical line. So this this may be like the same way the California fires start. Um, but the difference here is it's not like a uh, forest. This was all the grazing land for the cattle. And right, which in makes most me... cases, these cows are burnt to death in the fields. Um, I'm Terrible. immediately sitting here wondering how a downed power line happened in the area that this happened yeah big big winds big winds sure but i mean when this happens around here now i'm not speaking i don't live in texas eric thank you put put the super chats away half a bottle boy <laughs> eric's not allowed to super chat the rest of the night i'll, decli- stop I'll decline them stop it yeah yeah eric we'll have, we, i'll start sending them back we have appreciate you right, so i don't whatever now uh, some people are going to point it directed Ooh, energy jason weapons. jason va says didn't they say that about hawaii uh, right true, so people uh, people true. are going to point at directed energy weapons or anything else lightning strike is actually more believable than a power line falling in a place where nothing could knock it down but i don't know yeah. enough about it to speak to it um it sounds weird to me. Um, either this fire was so fast moving it caught cattle, which are prone to stampeding, unawares, mm. came out of nowhere. Yeah. Also, yeah. for everybody uh, who maybe doesn't a lot of remember, cows, man, I'm, I'm, that's that sucks. Let's go eight to twelve months ago. A lot of people were on some. Uh, yeah, they're burning down all the food factories, right? That which it, 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 it sparked a memory in mm-hmm. me about that thing. I said it was okay. big, big vegan did it. Yeah, big vegan did it, but I'm like, how? You know, what, whatever what? happened here is strange. You know, that but was again, the first thought that I had too. Livingston man was, again, was this was like PETA people, but they're trying to protect the animals. They, I don't think they would do that. Yeah. Um, but it, it the there's a parallel you could draw. <laughs> Some random dude says cattle are prone to laying on my grill. I'm not mad at you, my friend. I thought it was odd because what it could easily be construed as is yet another. Uh, attack on our food system absolutely absolutely um southern tier prepper says it's retaliation against texas i you know this is a million acres guys we're not talking about a a small parcel here we're talking about a, a huge chunk of the the panhandle of texas and into oklahoma it, this cross state lines livingston man this this is a huge fire and in some cases it's still active right now um, I believe the, the biggest one was only um, like 30% contained. It's right in the link that we sent to you guys in the chat there. Um, you know, YouTube likes to smack us around. So Livingston Man has decided that we're uh, not going to. Dana Let's Prep, actually, you, it was the Gassy Cow Farce. Now, what had happened? <laughs> what had happened? What you, what you saw was cow farts <laughs> reflecting off the planet yeah. Venus. All right, it makes perfect sense. All right, thank you for that comment, Dana. Let's prep. Uh, yeah, much, that, much. Actually, appreciate that. that's what happened. I there don't you care. Go. What, uh, Dana, fuck let's what prep. I tell you what, that one was you, that so you good. A spot on yeah. the list. All right. you were in the uh, kaboom the bug out a, a bag. Me- a methane explosion occurred. Uh, it it couldn't is... flow to the ground. It's not hard to believe. Dana, let's prep. And if I have called you out tonight and put your name on this list for the bug out bag giveaway, please email me. And uh, I just want to have contact with you so that if you win, I can get your address and ship this thing to you. Um, So that's Robert Lenahan, Santiago, Tank Houston, Black Star Boys, send me an email. Papa's Farm, send me an email. John Walsh, email. Uh, Joel, send me an email. 
Um, Did Joel said to give somebody else's entry. Joel, you guys are making this a little bit. Thank you, my friend. Um, Fine. Yardbirds uh, is one in, in the it. chat. One Yardbirds in the chat. just one, took over for Joel. Fuck. One in the chat for the next one. Go ahead. One in the chat. It's gonna be Kia Chris. Chris. Johnny Preps, he beats you by about a half a second. Kia Chris. Get your hands off the one button. That's not gonna happen again. <laughs> He's not gonna do the one button. Um Let's see, number 14, uh, Livingston Man, who, who in here do you think is our oldest subscriber? Who do you think has been here the longest? Now, I know that some of these names have changed over the years. Some of the folks have changed their names. Um, so they're not the same. They're not the same. I, I can't. <laughs> Jake Creature says I'm 110 years old. Some of these folks, um, some of these people ooh, have been old here. Mutt. Yeah, yeah. Some of you guys are here before I was. Yeah, he was he was one of the very, very first. I know Rick and Karen have been here, aka Love and Life. They have been here for a very, very long time. There's two of them. Um they got a spot on the list. As a, you're the one <laughs> PN, that P N W Trout Slayer has been a Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival subscriber in the first 10 people or so that subscribed. I Put think him on the list. He's definitely one of them. I know Jay Creature is, uh, he's been roaming the halls of Hudson Valley Prepping and Survival since the early days. Um, but I know PNW, I'm writing you down, PNW. I actually know that dude too. Yeah. We went to school together, not like we was friends or anything. But like, I, well, I went, we went to school together, and we was friends. We, right, so we was best friends. I know of them. Yep, I remembered you, dog. Uh, <laughs> Brian Savage says, "What about the newest? Just managed to stumble in." Well, welcome to We All Going to Die Wednesday, Brian Savage. You are in it to win. You don't even know what you're in to win, but I tell you what. It's a hell of a prize. Livingston Man's going to tell you about it while I write your name down here. To even comment, he has to have been a subscriber for, I think, five or ten minutes. So it makes him pretty new. Brian Savage, you're in it to win it. I just got here and going to die already. Uh, no, actually, what I'm, what you just got into is perhaps the key to survival, my friend. We are doing a bug out bag giveaway. Um, Santiago spam is free for no one. I told you. <laughs> premium for um, that. there is over fifteen hundred dollars worth of gear in this bug out bag and on memorial day we are going to give this thing away and uh all the money that we generate between now and then we are going to donate to the national ms society um on behalf of the dotties warriors campaign uh to try and find a cure for ms someday and uh, that's the gig, man. I, I got almost $1,500 worth of stuff in this bag and somebody's gonna take it home. And I just ask that you give me some money to donate to them. Um, I will you know, keep everything as transparent as humanly possible living's the man. See that thing over there? Oh yeah, it's freaking I want you right to up. stand up, grab its uh, top right corner and just- Touch it? Well, just touch it. Oh, just touch it? All right. I'm... I touched it. You know what I'm gonna do? Fixed it. I'll just sit here in the dock. It's fine. I'm about to do a gear review about that thing. Uh, I'd like to come up and visit and go over it on the air. Uh, Brian Savage, with it, with it. Are you from New York? I hope. I hope you're from New York. That make life a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. We'll pay shipping, but not uh, air travel. <laughs> POTB says. Look, to be fair, I'll hold on to the bag while you find a winner. I promise it won't disappear. <laughs> All the stuff will totally be in it. Uh, yeah, totally. Everything will still be there, just as it was. Absolutely. Um, Tracy K., I'll tell you what. I had one left to give away, and I want to give it to my homegirl, Tracy K. I would go to the Pacific Northwest on top. Uh, Trout on Slayer, only if you take me trout fishing. I'll go out on the boat and hold the camera. I don't fish. I find it inhumane. Uh Brian it, Savage, thank you very much. Imagine if somebody did that to you. Like, you're just swimming in a pond all of a sudden, like, hook through your face. 
And then they, and then they're like, it's catch and release is humane. So they just rip it out and like throw you back in. You're like, yeah. I yeah, it is. Um, I think catch and release. I got to tell you, man, that. Catch and release is more inhumane than just eating a damn thing. Like I said, it's easier to let it go and live than it is. No, to... it's easier to it's easier to just eat it. Like, well, you stuck a fucking bar book in the water. Uh, now imagine I did that to you. Yeah, but I mean, you, I, right through you, like up through your nose and your eye, and then I just I come back and I rip it the fuck out and I'm like get out of here. You'll be all right. <laughs> That would be fantastic. Um, Brian Savage, do me a favor. In the description section of this video is my email address. Hudson Valley Prepping Survival at gmail.com. Send me an email. That way, at least we have contact if you do win this thing. I, again, it's going to be some time before the actual giveaway. We got a big bag full of uh, everybody's names and we're going to reach in, pull somebody out. Um, and as of right now, I believe we have four different tiers of prizes Livingston and we have the grand prize which is the bug out bag and then we have um first place which is a grail geopress so you 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 right? making a distinction between grand prize and first place yeah sounds grand misleading prize. first place grail geopress i think the losers should know who they are second place is a grail ultra press there cannot be two first places well no you have you have the Okay, so we'll we'll just do first place, second place, third place, fourth place. And it means place, something. Maybe. If you win third um, place, you should feel inferior. Uh, Estain says, who made the bug out bag? I believe it was Highland Tactical is the actual bag itself. The bag isn't the prize so much as the stuff that's inside of the bag. The, assembled the contents of the bag? Yeah. He did. But yeah, who made the true. bag? Uh, actually, who made the bag is the least of your worries. There's the <laughs> stuff that's in it. All right. So we're talking um, uh, vision preparedness. Says Mike, scroll up to my comment. Vision. You'll uh, want to talk to me about he this. Is, uh, Livingston man is on it. He is see, looking for it. For? We're looking Too many for blue vision, people vision here. preparedness. Here it is. Uh, bring Livingston man to Ohio for the bug out weekend, and I will donate five hundred dollars. Uh, Livingston, man, we're going to have to go to Ohio, buddy. Don't go to your so-called Ohio. <laughs> but are we going to Ohio before the um, deadline of Yes, day? yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. I'm going to take you all with me. Ah, uh, devil dog, I don't ignore you, brother. These uh, the chat goes wild, and and it's it's I for me to I'm, my ADHD, bro. That's it, hard. It's so hard to pay. I'm trying attention to see how to much everything. people pay. Attention There's so to many it. colors and lights and everything going on, bro. Next spot. I promise. Next spot promise. on the next spot on the list. What kind of beer does Livingston Man drink? Oh, First good one. lord! Oh, good lord! You're making up. Oh, good lord! <laughs> devil dog. <laughs> don't. Scott Trudeau. Oh, got it. Scott, you're in it to win it. That was a loaded question because I don't always drink the same Trish says beer. PBR, 40 ounces. Well, that's throughout the whole live stream, but um Actually, I'm only in Steel Paul. Reserve. Woo, K Paul. I am not that adventurous. Jay Creature called it lame. Uh, Cole like, 45 says Papa's farm. Oh, Jay man. Creature said it was lame, but uh, I was just seeing who's paying attention, all right? <laughs> Ghost Lincoln said cheap shit. Wait a second. Is, <laughs> you know what? You know why? Mountain Jay, Brew. Oh, man. Listen, can, just put Jay Creature on the list so he stops being a fucking. <laughs> He's already bitch. on the list. All right, good. Then quit being a bitch yeah. about it. <laughs> Crazy horse. Oh, Johnny Preps, man. Wow. Uh, Jericho Forks, I, I got to tell you, the, the, the Coors Banquet beer is actually pretty good. It actually is pretty good. My thing um, with Bud Light, I wanted to, I thought that that gay beer that they made, got everybody mad, was a thing. I went to the store, like, and they didn't have the gay beer, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I asked, the dude, I asked the dude at the store, I'm like, yo, where's the gay beer? And he's like, well, that's not really a thing. They actually made like a six pack of that. And I was like, the half the country got mad because they made a six pack. Mm. I was trying to buy it because I literally wanted to piss y'all off. <laughs> I couldn't even buy the gay beer. I was more mad about that. Ooh, Milwaukee's best. Dan H., only if it's the ice. 
it have the beast ice. Sunset, I will uh, I will reach for the rolling rock too because I like that like just light green beer. I'm not trying. I don't do that high gravity shit. Like I'm just trying to be fucking wasted all day. <laughs> Uh, beer is the original energy drink, says Jay Creature. Not 20 of them, but a Summit beer will give you a boost. I, I, I said Jay Creature, he'd be bringing a Summit beer with him. Absolutely. There's examples of Olympic athletes um, smashing a beer in between events, um, especially things that require like control. When uh, riflemen and stuff like this was an Olympic sport, right? Uh, they praised the one German athlete because he took a, in between shots, he, he drank a pint. And they were like, huh. I guess today maybe they call that a performance enhancer, but is it? Could be. Or they just calm his nerves and make him like chill the hell out. Like, uh, Eric M1RV, you're absolutely correct. Uh, between you and Ghost Lincoln, we have raised well over $1,000 for the MS Society. Um, thank you so much. Prepping with Pugs, Hudson Valley Prepping Survival at gmail.com. It's, it's the name, just less the and. Um, and at gmail.com. Riddle me this. Uh, Jay Creature says that Arnold Schwarzenegger used to sh slam schnapps and brandy loose protein shakes. All right. So in Ooh. that vein, how come, let's all think about how like everything's a simulation. Thinning the blood out. It's a, it's all a simulation and fake. Okay. Right. Because on the one hand, they're like, you, you shouldn't eat raw cookie dough, man. You could get yeah, salmonella but mother, from They'd that. be drinking eggs. But then I used to watch like Hulk Hogan drink like a dozen eggs. And I'm like, why y'all gotta always lie to me? Why you gotta say one thing and do another <laughs> all the time? Like, yeah, you know what? Of, of all the, I wanna keep, I don't know. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Ohio is calling vision preparedness. Ohio is calling. I read a, a news article today about a guy who received 217 COVID vaccinations. What? Uh, and he a, lives? And apparently no worse for the wear. Also, <laughs> he also never caught the shit. Uh, there's no verifiable evidence that he ever had the, 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 the thing, the, the, mal Whoa. the malady. Whoa. Uh, but apparently what it, 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 it how did, many? 217 and the one one of them was a control done by the he had 216 in real life the the 217th was done by the research team themselves whoa what the reason this all came to light is because they tried to charge him with fraud because he got 217 free vaccines and they were like how dare you oh we're definitely getting demonetized but we should do this this is the 217 the the results were fascinating in that they uh in this individual showed no real issue here like everything's fine his immune system was responding as it should uh and everything else and but what? yeah he had 217 he had the he had the one and then he had 216 boosters dog excuse me excuse me if you go and get 200 and something shots in your arm you crazy you need to see a mental health professional immediately they they called it uh, they i think they called it hyper vaccination dude's got a problem and it involves um going to see the doctor isn't that like when you do it to your kids, I think they call it munch hour syndrome, right? Well, this is this is like reverse ivermectin guy. <laughs> <laughs> Same school but different sides. Mm. You know what I mean, like, <laughs> um, but at any rate, apparently in this gentleman in particular, uh, no adverse effects. <laughs> everything's cool. Got you, buddy. Moldy soldier, what's good, my brother? Uh, I. 217 jabs. Look it up. I don't and know dude is I... no worse for... <laughs> Yankee Watchdog says 18 <laughs> shots in 10 minutes in the army. That's, that's what I'm talking about, Yankee Watchdog. I'm not talking about 217 stabs, bro. Imagine how much time you have to spend at Hannaford. Hey, it's me again. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? How did he oh do this? Oh my God. Because they, they were supposed to be keeping checks on this. Like you had the card, you were supposed to do the thing. Like yeah, but when your card, when you pull it out and it's like. He can't keep getting away with it. Flipping down. I, 
So it's plausible that he went to 207. Looks like a passport from a world traveler. He, it's plausible he went to 217, 16 different places under, I don't know, assumed aliases. Like, you know, I, I do, I'm, I'm John Smith and then so Frank Jim. I've often heard of people doing this for like money. Like they would, they would join a, a research study and, you know, give blood for dollars or, or take a, take this for that and try this and that. And they were lying to people, telling them they weren't part of other studies and they would go and get all of these experimental things. And in some cases get sick and die, but it was the only way that they could afford to do things. Um, but, oh, wow, man. Damn, Jay Creature, alcohol intolerance? I mean, do you mean like I can drink 30 beers and just like not even feel different? Like, cause yeah, I, I got that. I, I always chalked it up to plain old uh, alcoholism. You know, maybe okay. so, says uh, maybe he was getting cards for other people. That it could, could totally have been, but I mean. They tried to charge him with fraud uh, based on however it was that he managed to do this. Yeah, like he stole like way more than he was supposed to get. Stole know. what? It was free. What'd you steal? That was free. Nothing's free. But I think it's... Everything it, comes it, with a price. I, I thought it was fascinating just that and somehow he ended up to, somehow able to get away with this. Um, but to just... Okay. A vision. Uh, this man gave his soup. body. He gave his body to science so that we might learn something. And allegedly, 217 boosters later, he's okay. Wow. Now, propaganda. <laughs> Jay Creature. <laughs> Dana Let's Prep says at 220, he gets a set of Ginsu knives. <laughs> he still wears a mask. <laughs> Yo, oh, listen. you got to take it wow. all with a grain of salt. Now, did, did what I read, was it targeted? Was it written by AI to target me to question what I think? Probably. <laughs> Oh, Johnny Preps, yeah. I mean, maybe he was going for the 365 trifecta. The next to man, they caught him like halfway. And know? I think... He's like, he, I'm getting one for every day of the year. I think he deserves get a... Get 66, because this year was a leap year. I think he should get a medal and a handshake for that. Like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your boosters. Uh... Uh, Yardbirds, yeah, I bet, you know, I've been hearing a lot about that. I saw some, uh, some posts on the old X today, um, about folks, uh, saying things like, if you know somebody who's, uh, had the, the jab, don't, uh, consummate with them, do not, um, don't accept blood or organs from them. Uh, which I think is really interesting. Was it like as, shedding the spike? Well, proteins? yeah, but I, you know, honestly, as a um, an, an, an unvaccinated proteins. individual who lives in a house with vaccinated individuals, I would actually like to see if perhaps I have uh, contracted this vaccine from my family members, which is very interesting. <laughs> you know? So hold on. So we are now suggesting. No, 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 not suggesting. It's already vaccine, been medically proven that they the can. The vaccine is sexually transmitted. Uh, yes, that is correct. <laughs> that is correct. That's a fucking new one. All right. I, I, mm. I like that. Living Samantha, indeed, it is not new. It is called vaccine shedding, and it is a real thing. And. It's really happening so it's not very the, very interesting how sneaky these uh engineered things can be it's not the it's not the sickness that is transmissible but the cure <laughs> <laughs> what horror this feature presents us with <laughs> eric that's funny um the shedding is real um, this live stream is definitely yo. People be bleeding shit that cures you of diseases, bro. And, um, Come on! I, we're not. Our our warning isn't up yet. So, warning. If we don't see you guys next, um, uh, Anne Marie, I I most definitely will. I'll, you know what? Just hang on a second, Anne Marie. Let me let me check. Let me check right now. And I don't even want to go even further down a rabbit hole. You seen what he was talking uh, about? It's, it's, it was going like, to impregnate the food with the vaccine. You couldn't eat the lettuce ooh. without getting your booster shot. It was one or uh, the other. Do you want lettuce or COVID? Yeah. 
Um, uh, you guys, very interesting. Prepping with pugs, I got you. Imagine if all you had to do, like you get, you catch a cold, all you got to do is like have sex. Emery, I got you. You're good. That's the secret Big Pharma doesn't want you to know. Yeah. So you got the sniffles, right? All you got to do is go fuck somebody who had the sniffles. And you'll get better. <laughs> That's the shit they don't tell you. Like uh, if you just cut the tops off your lettuce and put it in a fucking dirt, it grows. Like you can just get free produce for life. Yeah. They don't. They would rather you didn't know that. Oh, you got. That's uh, right. You got to feed right. it to the GMO. GMO. Big Pharma doesn't want you to know the truth. All you got to do is have sex <laughs> with Krebs. have sex with sick people, and you will get healthier. STP. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean. I want you we, are, we are living in a giant medical experiment, folks, and there are very few controls left, which is um, alarming. I find it very interesting that this, uh, this, this vaccination has become almost the Monsanto of uh, vaccines like they did with the corn where it just takes over everything. Now, everything is GMO corn, right? <laughs> JKR. That's pretty funny. Uh, as Jake, as he said, <laughs> conversely, if, all the way through to the if end. you're not into human, all the way uh, if you're not the into end. the human reproductive uh, process, you could also just yeah go the, go with have the lettuce. lettuce. It's, it's probably safer. Go that find way. the most GMO shit you can find and just <laughs> go to uh, yard birds. I I fuck agree. A booster. That, that left in Albuquerque. Uh, we should have taken it. But. Yes, by this logic, uh, Johnny Preps, you can, you are, you are now like that. The injector, we'll call you. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, yeah, wild, wild. The 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 world gets crazier every day. Living's the man, and this is why we prepare. Brian Savage, I'm not reading that essay, but um, they ain't tracking you unvaccinated. How the easy? Well. You can do this by reverse. Uh, Z28310. He's uh, right. Brian Savage is right. They are tracking the un unvaccinated. But yeah. I got to tell you, man, I went how? to the hospital. So I went to the hospital, Livingston, man, right? No, I, thought, I thought I broke my foot. It's indirectly. It's because they know who's vaccinated. I thought I broke my foot, right? And in the intake office, the lady asked, you know, she's going through the list and she's like, uh, are you vaccinated for COVID? And she hits yes. And I'm like, no. And she's like, what? And she looks at me and I was like, no, I'm not vaccinated. She's like, not even one. It's like, no, not, burr, even, burr, not, not burr. even one. And then she had to like go back in her computer. We got the dirt. We got a dirty in here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yard bird says they glow orange under ultraviolet light. Uh, could be, could be. There was some, there was some things in that. Um, if you give me five minutes, that I I found out about by doing a little bit of research and connecting some yeah. dots. It's called Luciferus. It's, it's actually a bioluminescent gene. It's called. That they um, put in it. It's called um, Hollywood lighting. If you want us to glow in the dark right now, I could probably. <laughs> <do that. laughs> you could do it too. Uh, Number what? Are, what is? The, yeah. uh, you got spaces on that? Yeah. Um. No. We're no, full we, up. Yeah, we went one heavy, sir. Okay. One heavy. One heavy. But I, that's okay. I think okay. what you um, what you guys should do is believe what you see and nothing else. Um, well, I, I don't know if you could even believe what you see anymore, Livingston Man. Because only with your own eyes, not through In real life. In real life. Don't, don't believe the shit that you see on a screen. If you see something on a screen, I guarantee you it can be manipulated. My voice, my, my actions, everything can be faked at this point. Um, Camera angles alone. Watch this. <laughs> what you um, thought man, you man. saw is not what happened at all. I was touching myself. Now we've gone downhill. There's the band. All right. <laughs> the point I was trying to make was still made, but it didn't really come out the way no, I wanted to. No. Uh, it's it's eight thirty-two, and I had about enough of you, you people, and your conspiracy theories and your flat Earth shit. I, I think. Uh, Ghost Lincoln, thank you so much. Um, you did not have to do that, my friend. You did not have to. Do that. I'm, I'm happy to uh, take up everything that I can. If you <laughs> pop as far, it, we could just be a figment of your imagination. But just remember, when you're at the mall, if you're single, right, you're cruising, looking for a, a potential mate, look for the the sickest looking pale 
this person there. Get with them. It's going to boost your immune system because as we have learned, <laughs> uh, the vaccines and all the, all the healthy stuff is sexually transmitted. Mm. And I think that we as a society forgot about that. I uh. think everybody was too worried about going to work and making a living that they forgot that all you got to go out there and do Live. is and have L-I-B-I-N. sexual relations with flu victims. <laughs> Cure the world. Cure the world. Well, we'll probably be banned after this. It's like so a we'll chicken see you guys pox party we, uh, on Brazzers. You when know? we when we finally get off suspension and uh, they will allow us back into the wonderful world of YouTube. Um, thank you all for your donations. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, Brian Savage has a Rumble channel. We've been thinking about doing um, Rumble Bit Shoot. Uh, we actually have a, a Patreon that I've never done anything with. Um, but it exists. I wanted to create it. That way we had a, a like backup. A million and a half dollars sitting in there. It could <laughs> be. Happened. Could I be. Know, I don't know my password. <laughs> we all get suspended Wednesday. POTB, you ain't shitting. But sometimes you got to fucking say what you got to say, man. Dan you H, gotta, you gotta the, say it. the goths overran Rome, and I would totally <laughs> let the goth girls overrun me. So... <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of you guys. On that note, Hudson Valley Prepping Survival. This is We All Gonna Die Wednesday. We out of here.